So born in the 1900s, Maurice Kendall was a British statistician who made significant contributions to the field of statistics. Now Kendall's tau is his contribution to measure the correlation between two variables. In statistics, you will come across words like variables and correlation too often. If you want to ace these terms, just like me, you can get hold of the Oxford Dictionary of Psychology that I also use. Of course, uh, you can always refer online, but for learning terms, I prefer a single source of reference for standardized learning. So, I was talking about variables and correlation. According to the Oxford Dictionary of Psychology, a variable is anything that is subject to variation. You will come across subterms such as dependent variable, independent variable, intervening variable, uh, mediating variable, extraneous variable, etc. For example, to compute Kendall's tau, you will be given two sets of variables or data. In this context, correlation is the observation of the relationship between these two sets of data or variables. Okay, so if you have any questions, you can comment and I'll try my best to answer. Now, back to Kendall's tau. Through Kendall's tau, we measure the dependence of one set of variables or data on the other. So, when you appear for your exams on your question paper, you will be asked to compute Kendall's tau and you will be given two sets of data to measure dependence or correlation one has with the other set of data. The final value that you may have will be digits in the range of minus 1 to plus 1. So say that you get a value of plus 1. It would mean that two sets of data variables share a perfect positive correlation. If your final value after computing Kendall's tau is close to plus 1, such as 0 0.8 or 0 0.9, it would indicate a strong positive correlation. If your final value after computing Kendall's tau is a value of 0, it would mean there is no correlation or dependence between the variables. It means the variables are independent of each other. If your final value after computing Kendall's tau is close to minus 1, such as minus 0 0.8 or minus 0 0.9, it is a strong negative correlation. The negative relation would mean there is no direct but reverse influence. Data in group A will not follow the direction of data in group B, but will go the opposite and vice versa. Finally, a value of minus 1 indicates a perfect negative correlation where there is a complete and consistent decrease in one variable for every increase in other variable. This means that as one variable increases, the other variable decreases and vice versa. Now that you are aware, uh, you are clear of the fundamentals of Kendall's tau, let us do the sum that you can expect in your exam. Okay, so during your exam, you may be asked to compute Kendall's tau with the following data variable for x and y. For x, you have values 5, 3, 7, 6, 2 and for y, you have values 7, 8, 9, 6, 4. Now, we will have to rank the data variable on x in an increasing or ascending order. So here, what I've done is I have just added another row above X and I named it rank. Okay, so I see the smallest value here on the X variable is 2. So I have listed it as rank 1. Then I have listed uh, 3 as rank 2. And that's how I proceeded, right? I have not done anything to the values on the Y variable. Now, once we have done the ranking uh, and we have ordered the variables on X, we will keep the variables from Y as is. So you see rank 1, rank 2, rank 3, rank 4, rank 5 and I have just ordered it. So I have shifted 
two from the extreme right to the extreme left right and that's how I proceeded two three five six seven rank one rank two rank three rank four rank five I retain the values on the y variable as is how so here you can see that when I ranked 2 as 1 the corresponding value on y was 4 so 2 and 4 okay I keep 2 and 4 when I ranked 3 as 2 my corresponding value on y was 8 so I maintain here 3 and 8 and this is the process I followed for all of these values now once we have this table of ranked pairs of both X and Y we will proceed to figuring the concordant which is the C values means the larger values and discordant the D values mean the smaller values note that we will not do anything with the variables uh, or data on X now earlier we kept the Y as is now we will work on the Y variables and nothing to do with the X variables okay because they are already ranked now here you would see I have mentioned these these are just for explanation okay you will not write all of these on your exam paper okay so what I have done is four I have mentioned here four right four as is below now we have to understand is eight bigger than four yes eight is bigger to the four on the left and so we write c below so beside four we write c seven is bigger than four so we will write c below six is bigger than four so we will write c below 9 is bigger than 4, we will write C below. Okay. Now for the next step, we will bring down 8. And then we have to find out if 7 is bigger than 8. No, 7 is smaller than 8. So it will be D. And then 6 is smaller than 8. So it will be D. But 9 is bigger than 8. So it will be C. Likewise, we will compute the whole data and so you will have something like this for your answer sheet. The x variable as is already ranked and the y is 48769 wherein 4 comes down then c, 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 c and then 8 comes down and d, d, c and then uh, 7 comes down and then D, C and then 6 comes down and 6, C. Okay. So now number of C's we have how many? 7. Number of D's we have 3. So you are all ready to compute Kendall's Tau using this formula which is C minus D divided by C plus D. It's the simplest of all that I have learned so far and sharing with you. Okay. So all you have to do is place these figures so you have 7 minus 3 divided by 7 plus 3 which is 0 0.4 cool just so you are aware during your exams you are free to compute numericals mentally but you will always have access to a basic calculator so use the calculator for practice whether for small digits or large so you don't take much time looking for the plus or the route sign at the right moment so now that we have the answer as 0.4 how do we interpret it remember the Kendall's Tau value ranges from minus 1 to plus 1 but the result is not a perfect one but it is 0.4 indicating positive relation between x and y variables data if you were wondering what do these x and y variables denote right um, it can be anything in real life if you pursue research 
with field data in psychology or in economics or in say bioinformatics wherever you have a large pool of data right so here you can say that the data we use for x and y could be x for number of concepts cleared and y could be rating received for successful clearance of each concept right what can you think of let me know in the comments if you have any questions i look forward to answering them and uh, yeah if you like this video and you want to learn anova uh, chi squared spearman's row pearson's correlation coefficient uh, or product moment correlation man whitney's and uh, others in as much detail as you have in this to have complete foundation then like this video share this video with those in need who cannot afford a tutor and subscribe to the channel oh and if you pass the exams do come back to let me know thank you all the best take care